Hi, welcome. In the last lecture, we have seen the concept of standard state. In today's lecture, we are going to study the concept heat of reaction or enthalpy of reaction. See, the heat of a reaction is simply the amount of heat absorbed or evolved in the reaction. Suppose if we consider any reaction and if in that reaction heat is absorbed or evolved then that absorbed heat or evolved heat is called as the heat of a reaction. Now we should know the amount of heat absorbed or evolved at constant temperature and pressure is called enthalpy. So this is definition of enthalpy. What is definition? The amount of heat absorbed or evolved at constant temperature and pressure is called enthalpy. Therefore, the amount of heat change during a reaction at constant temperature and pressure may also be called enthalpy change. And its value depends upon the number of moles of the reactants which have reacted in the given chemical reaction. Thus, now the definition of heat of reaction. Heat of reaction may be defined as the amount of heat absorbed or evolved in a reaction when the number of moles of reactants, whatever it may be, the number of moles of reactants as represented by the balanced chemical equation change completely into the products. I repeat, what is heat of reaction? It may be defined as the amount of heat absorbed or evolved in a reaction when the number of moles of reactants as represented by the balanced chemical equation change completely into the products. For example, see, suppose we have one mole of carbon monoxide gas. Here nothing is written, so it is one mole. We have one mole of carbon monoxide gas. It reacts with one half mole that is 0.5 mole of oxygen. Both are in a gaseous state and they form one mole of carbon dioxide. There is a formation of one mole of carbon dioxide which is in a gaseous state. Now the delta H, it represents heat of reaction is equal to the minus 284.5 kilojoule. Why minus sign? Because heat is evolved. In this reaction, there is a evolution of heat. Therefore, minus sign is there and total heat evolved is minus 284.5 kilojoule. So, according to the definition of heat of reaction, if we consider this reaction, during this reaction, heat is evolved and how much heat is evolved? Minus 284.5 kilojoule heat is evolved minus sign is there because of heat is evolved. If heat is abs absorbed then there will be plus sign. But in this case heat is evolved therefore there comes minus sign. So this is about the definition of heat of reaction or we may say it as a enthalpy of a reaction. We also seen the definition of enthalpy in this slide. Now next point standard heat change or standard enthalpy change. See, what is the definition? The heat change accompanying a reaction taking place at 298 Kelvin and one atmospheric pressure is called the standard heat change or standard enthalpy change. Now, if uh, we have seen last lecture, in last lecture we have discussed the point standard state. So in that point we have seen that when substance is in standard state, when uh, the pressure is one atmospheric, temperature is 298 Kelvin or 298.5 Kelvin and that substance is in its most stable state. So these three conditions were there. When substance satisfies these three conditions, we say that that substance is in a standard state. So according to that point, 
here comes standard heat change or standard enthalpy change so the conditions of standard are same what is the temperature 298 kelvin or 298.5 kelvin what is the pressure one atmospheric pressure so at this condition what is the heat change so that heat change is called as standard heat change or enthalpy change so i repeat the definition of this standard heat change or standard enthalpy change the heat change accompanying a reaction taking place at 298 kelvin and one atmospheric pressure is called the standard heat change or standard enthalpy change and it is denoted by delta h 0 so when we consider heat of reaction it is represented by delta h and when we consider standard heat change or standard enthalpy change it is denoted by delta h 0 okay so in this is about heat of reaction or enthalpy of reaction in next lecture we will see what are the types of heat of reaction thank you